A header and a footer is something that you would see when you print off your document at the top of the page or at the bottom of the page. And a header in Excel is something that when you put in the header section will repeat at the top of each page for as many pages as you're printing off. For example, I'm going to come up here and click on the Office Logo button, go down to Print, and let's look at Print Preview. Again, Print Preview is something that whatever you see in here is exactly what you're going to get when you click the Print button. You can see up at the top, I can click to zoom in, that you have a header section. There's nothing in there, and I'll click in again to zoom out and down at the bottom in the footer section there's nothing there but what I could do is I could have repeated at the top of each page the author which could be me and down at the bottom maybe the page numbers the date the time or even a logo I can insert a picture here to do so all I have to do is come up here and click on the page setup in the print preview when I click on it I can come to the header and footer tab and make my changes another way of doing it I'm gonna click cancel and close out of the print preview is you can come to the Page Layout tab to the Page Setup group and click on its expandable dialog box button and there you go. In the Page Setup window you can click on Header and Footer as well. First I want to set up my header section. Right now you can see in the preview there's nothing there. So I want to set it up by clicking on the Custom Header button and then it divides it into sections. So in the header section, the left section, the center, and the right. Starting over to the left I can go ahead and just type in my name. Hit the Tab key, go to the center section and maybe say something like well this is all about payroll hit the tab key and over to the right section I could click on the image button to insert a picture and then browse through my computer and find one click on the views so I can look at medium sized pictures these are going to be too big this is going to cover up half the spreadsheet but if I had a little logo maybe a smaller dimension than what you see here by 1024 by 768 for the dimension something smaller then I'd be okay so I'm going to click cancel and just not add anything in the right section and click OK Looking at my little preview after I click OK, you're going to see the preview at the top of each page is going to be my name and also payroll. Now down at the bottom, I want to click on Custom Footer to take me so I can start setting up the section or the footer. Over in the left section, maybe you want to go ahead and insert page number. Well, you can hover over these buttons here and it'll give you an idea of what they're about. There's inserting a page number and inserting number of pages. What that means is that if I just click on this, it adds a code and it says, look, um, this is page 1, page 2, page 3. If I go ahead and hit the spacebar and type of and hit the spacebar again and click in the second button here, again let me hover over it, looks like it's not coming up but it's inserting the number of pages. When I click on it, it adds the code. So what I'm setting up here is saying, look, it's going to insert the page, page one, of how many pages within the total print job three, four, five, I don't know. But at least when I print this off and hand it off to everybody and they look at the second page, it'll say page two of two. They know that there's nothing more than that. It's not page two of three, so they're looking for the third page that they're missing. Center section, I can go ahead and click on the time button and then in the right section, maybe click on the date. Click OK and then there you go. There's page one of one and then the time and then the date. If I want to see what it looks like now before I click OK and accept this, I can click on the print preview button pretty cool up at the top you can see it but if I click on the page it zooms in there that's better payroll click on it again to zoom out there's page one of two in fact I could have typed in page and then inserted the code one and then of course I typed in of so it's page one of two let's go down to the next page and it's still there and that says page two of two when I click and zoom on it you can see that click on it again to zoom out and it all looks good so I'm going to close out of this print preview. Now, in Excel, there's more than one way to do things. So let me take you to another place where it's a completely different view when setting up your headers and footers. For example, if you started using Excel before you watch this training video, you may have thought, well, I'm going to click on the Insert tab, and come over here and insert a header and footer. Well, when I click on it, it changes the view completely. It puts us in a page layout view, and that's a completely separate view from the normal view that we're at. In here, you can go ahead and look at the horizontal rulers and the vertical rulers to align and uh, lay out your spreadsheets, but that's not the point. The point of here is that we wanted to insert a header and a footer. And you can see that up at the top. Anywhere I click up here, it's divided into three sections, just like we saw when we were working in the Page Layout tab and bringing up the Page Setup window. So I have my sections here, and I can type anything in these sections. But look, I have no data here. Well, it's not that I have no data. If I just go ahead and click and drag the scroll bar over, there it is. There's my first page. So anything I type up here in these sections, like Payroll for DF, and I click off in a blank area, it should automatically update all the headers. So if I scroll down here, payroll for DF. See, it's updating as we go. 
you just have more to work with in the page layout view. So that's fine. Come in here and click in the sections. Type in whatever you want. But if you want to go ahead and add your symbols for page numbers and time and so forth, well, notice any time I click up here in the header or I scroll down and I click somewhere down the footer, it brings up the contextual design tab, which is associated with the header and footer sections. So here are the tools. There's my current time, current date. I mean, go ahead and click on this. In fact, let me delete it. And I want to insert the time, click on it. It adds the code, just as we saw on the page setup screen. Got a few other little features here. You can go to the header, go to the footer. It just toggles back and forth. You don't have to go. If this could actually print off and I had a payroll so huge, print on 30 pages, why would I want to scroll all the way over to page 30 to type in a header section when I know any section I type is going to automatically duplicate in all the header sections for me? So I can just stay here and make all the changes that I want and toggle between the header and the footer by clicking on the toggle button here for navigation. There's some additional things you can choose like for example the footer right now I have things already in it. In fact if I click on the go to footer button you can see everything's in the footer. I can click on the footer option just say I want nothing in there or some recent results here DF payroll whatever I previously set up in the footer and it'll automatically add everything in the footer for me but I don't want to select none because I'm pretty happy with it. Scroll up to the top here of page one. And notice what happens that when I click off in one of the cells, I no longer get my contextual tab. I actually have to be in the header to get up the design tab for my headers and footers. You can have different first page, which means that anything on the first page is not going to be duplicated on consecutive pages. You can have different odd and even pages, just like in a book. On every odd page, you're going to have something in the header that I can type here, or in this case, it's the even page it'll only duplicate itself on even pages and all the odd pages will have their own duplications for whatever I type in on an odd page is going to be repeated on all odd pages. Now to get out of here it's a bit tricky not complicated but a bit tricky there's no close button here so what I need to do is first I need to actually click out of the header or footer section because if I don't when I go to the view tab and try to change my view back to normal forget it I can click on it it's not going to happen so if I click off the header or footer section it allows me to click on the normal button so whew, I'm back to my normal view I can hit control home and go to the top and go back to the home tab and make any changes I want you can go back to the view tab and click on the page layout it's just the same as if you were let me go back to normal clicking on the insert tab and going to header and footer I'm getting used to the insert header and footer because you get bigger icons and it tells you exactly what you're inserting versus when I go back to when I click back in the middle section here out of the header and footer and I go back to the view tab and go to normal layout versus coming to the page layout tab and then clicking on its expandable dialog box button and coming to the header and footer tab and clicking on the custom header I mean these don't tell me anything until I hover over it I mean at least when I insert a header and footer or go to the page layout view it gives me larger icons and it gives me titles below it so it's easier to read and know what I'm inserting if I choose to click on one of these buttons to insert a code pick a way that's comfortable for you and stay with it I suppose and even so some of the ways are actually better because they offer more options hey thanks for watching if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel as soon as I upload a new video you'll be notified instantly and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face you can also click here to support me so for two dollars a month you can have access to over 2700 training videos all ad free and for a few bucks more you can have access to my exercises instructor notes quizzes certificate of completion and a whole lot more